Okay, here we are. We have our Winter Sheep Farmers Market website. Um, we're using the domain name that Google gives us, the URL. Um, it's a little bit cumbersome. So we want to change that so that someone can type in winterchicfarmersmarket.com and reach our site. Um, the first thing we need to do is, of course, purchase that domain name. Um, they're going to cost roughly $10 a year, and there's another screencast that will show that process. Um, but assuming you have your domain name purchased and you did that through GoDaddy, um, we can set it up so that this domain will reach your website. The first thing we need to do now is go to uh, GoDaddy.com and sign in with our user account. Hey Jeff, how are you doing? Once we're logged into our GoDaddy account, we're going to see all the domains that we have purchased and when they expire. Um, a lot of other details are hidden behind this advanced details, so we're going to click on that. And once we're in there, we're going to do two things. The first thing we're going to do is forward the domain name without the www prefix to the domain name with it. Um, to do that, we're going to click Manage um, the Forwarding. So right here, you'll see Forwarding. And what we need to do is just type in our domain name with a www dot beforehand. So OK. OK, that was easy. And the next thing we need to do is tell GoDaddy that our website is hosted on Google server um, and that's down here under total DNS control so I'm going to click that and here's where we're going to change our CNAME for the www prefix so you see a big list of um, CNAMES um, this is important that you're your A host is something like this. Um, this is a GoDaddy IP address. Um, if it's not exactly that, that's okay. But that does need to be there. Um, if that's something that is maybe Microsoft or some other server, um, that probably means that this isn't the place to change your CNAME records. Um, but what we're going to do here, um, assuming you haven't changed anything before. This www.c name is going to point to the at symbol, which basically just um, implies you're, you're pointing it to the, the a host. Um, I've actually set this up once before. What we want to do is cha change that at symbol to point to this ghs.google.com. Uh, I'm going to click this little icon here to edit that. And make sure that this says ghs.google.com. Um, this is okay. I set it an hour. That's basically the time to live, is what it's called. Um, how long before that will start to propagate across the internet? And once we've done that, um, we're all set up on the GoDaddy end of things. Um, the last thing we'll need to do is set it, set it up so that when our domain name gets to Google, Google knows that it's our website to point um, the URL to. So I'm going to log out of GoDaddy and visit my Google site and sign in. And once I'm signed in, I'm going to click More Actions, uh, Manage Site, and on the left here, Web Address. Here's um, where we need to set it up so that Google Sites knows that WinnersheekFarmersMarket.com is, is our um, address to point to our website. Uh, I'll remove it here just for the sake of demonstration. But basically, all we need to do is type in www and that is important, the www part. And our um, domain name, click add, 
and probably within a, an hour, maybe several hours, um, you'll be able to visit your domain name .com or uh, whatever that is, and it will load your website.